After 22 years of service, the iPod is officially no more. Today, we're gonna to take a look through some rose-colored glasses at some tech of old, and we're gonna resurrect an iPod classic from the dead, all from parts, here, right now. I couldn't believe it. It was the end of an era, and a thing that was around my entire childhood, poof, gone forever. So for my 30th birthday, my sister and I traipsed all around the city to all the different thrift shops to see if we could find an iPod classic. Plot twist, nobody had them. So after some looking, I found a shop online that sold everything that I needed. Everything in this video was purchased through Elite Obsolete Electronics. I'll have a link in the description for you. And a shout out to Dankpods, link down below. Really the guiding light for me to go get my iPod built. So sit back, relax. You can watch me struggle to put this tiny little iPod together. What are we doing today, Jordan? What are we doing today, Andrew? We're building an iPod. Back in the day, these were all the rage. The iPod classics, the iPod videos. Um, I never actually had one of these, but I just turned 30. Now I'm old. I had to reminisce. So I wanted an iPod Nano because I had one of the fat Nanos back in the day. It was a third generation. Um, and then I found out you can mod the absolute shit out of a classic. So we bought all the parts. Here they all are. I don't really know how to put one together, but we're going to figure it out together. So we've got a new back plate, a new front plate, a new click wheel, a new 30 pin cable, a new LCD screen, a bunch of screws, the dock bezel, and some rubber bumpers. Rubber bumpers you don't need. A new hard drive cable for the iFlash that'll replace the hard drive. Got the center button for the click wheel, the headphone jack and the hold switch, the back panel for the LCD, the metal frame for the iPod, and an iPod logic board. This is the seventh generation. It was 160 gigabytes. This is the iFlash quad. We're gonna replace the hard drive with this so we can use SD cards instead. And then finally, we've got a big Chungus battery. So the iPod was originally introduced in 2001 and it revolutionized how we listen to music. So back in the day, and yeah, I know I'm dating myself here, we didn't have any of these fancy multimedia devices, iPhones that were always connected to the internet and you could stream whatever you wanted, whenever you wanted. I was lucky enough at the time to have a third generation Nano and a first generation Nintendo DS. That was my go-to for long road trips to keep myself entertained. And let's be real, modern devices, iPhones, Androids, whatever, they're great. You can stream whatever you want, you can watch whatever you want, you can consume as much as you like, and you're always connected to the internet. But I'm sure, like many of you, you'd rather not be online all the time. The more that I started working on myself and making YouTube videos, the less I felt inclined to carry my phone with me at all times. I just wanted to listen to my music with no apps, no notifications, because being online all the time irritates me. Honestly, I'm just sick and tired of being distracted all the time. You're constantly doom scrolling to fill this constant need for stimulus. And when I finally put my phone down or turn off the TV, you're constantly nagged with this question of what's next. Hi, editor me here. Um, I was just reviewing all the footage and I think this clip proves my point exactly. I haven't seen myself happier in a very long time. I'm focused on a single task, no distractions, no notifications, no nothing. It's very, very free. I did check out some other modern MP3 players. I don't know what happened. There are all these gaudy, awful designs, so many buttons and knobs. And don't get me wrong, some of them look pretty cool, but at the end of the day, the iPod is simple, it's classic, play, pause, next, back, that's it. Honestly, building this iPod was the perfect fit for me. And it gave me a really great reason to go back and listen to some old classics that I've totally forgotten about. Okay, cool. So the key night among you probably noticed this is a seventh generation iPod classic. These are the ones with the metal faceplates. Now, personally, I just really like the UI that they've got. I like the whole cover flow mechanic. That's why I went with the 7th gen. If I were to build another, I would build a 5.5 gen. So 5th generation iPod is what they call the iPod video. Now, the reason that everybody wants the 5.5 gens is because they have the Wolfson DAC. A DAC is a digital to analog converter. It takes digital signals and converts them to analog signals so your headphones can play them. They say it's got a nice warm profile and it just sounds better than all the rest of the iPods. For me, I'm just going to listen to this iPod through regular headphones, so I'm not really worried about having the best DAC available. If I had a home hi-fi system or something, then I would go build a 5.5 gen. All right, so in goes the hard drive cable for the iFlash. We're going to double check and make sure everything works. So we're going to test the battery here. You can see we get a flash of life. Awesome. Let's get it properly seated. Everything looks A-OK. -okay. So we're going to disconnect that, and now we're going to take it downstairs to finish up. 
All right, so just to double check everything here, um, we have our little iPod. So we threw in the flashboard with the micro SD cards in it, and uh, we just want to make sure all the formatting and stuff was correct. So I plugged it into my Windows computer, formatted it that way. Apparently that's what you need to do if you're going to use Rockbox. I don't really think I'm going to, but I just want to have the option. We've got 512 gigs installed in here. Looks fantastic, and it works. Everything looks good, so we're gonna go ahead, tape everything up, put everything back together. Uh, we're gonna put the back cover back on and uh, button her up, we should be good to go. We've got the two halves here of the iPod. Everything's all taped down. So I think we're done clipping everything together. We have a fully functional iPod. Which is awesome. Be careful when you're clipping these together, the six and seven chains, because they're metal, you only get one shot. Um, these clips are an absolute pain in the ass and you want to make sure everything's aligned before you cram everything together. This one turned out pretty good. Uh, I broke one of the screws on the headphone jack, so I'll just have to be a little bit careful with that. But all in all, I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. iPod Classic, relic of an old era. Now I can just listen to music without having to do anything else. Um, yeah, pretty pleased with that. Anyway, thanks. Bye.